Who's at the front door? I have a package. Wait, 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 hold on, pause the video right here. What am I doing? What, what's in that box? Well, in that box is supposed to be the best router you can buy for a small to medium sized business, and if you're a nerd like me, for your house. It's the Unified Dream Machine Pro, and I'm going to put this in my home network. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. Is it really that great? All right, didn't come with the hard drive. I gotta go now get a hard drive. Let's get a hard drive. Got it, got my hard drive. How did I not have a spare hard drive? Now the hard drive for this is optional, but I wanted it bad because uh, one of the features we have with the Dream Machine Pro is it has Unify Protect, their surveillance software. Um, I have that here. I, yes, a router that has surveillance software built into it. Okay, cool. Now, let's go rack it up. Boot failed. Daggum it! Now setting up the Dream Machine Pro was initially a nightmare. I got a boot failed, the first power up, which is like a super huge bummer. It's like, ah, but I quickly Googled the error, went through a factory reset and uh, it booted fine. And setting it up is actually almost identical to setting up the his little brother, the Dream Machine. And um, I was up and running pretty quick. So this thing definitely gets like 10 gold stars for um, ease of setup using my phone. Amazing. So a little bit of a rocky start, uh, but I reset the thing, it rebooted and now it's it's fine suddenly, so I, I don't know. And now it's setting up. Even better is I was able to uh, move my existing network, which is also a Unify network uh, running a USG Pro. I was able to just simply back up the configuration and then upload it to my Dream Machine Pro. So I didn't have to do really anything. It was great. Plug and play. Now there are two things that make the Dream Machine Pro pretty great. Three if you're like a nerd, and I will compare and contrast the Dream Machine Pro to his little brother, just the Dream Machine. The thing that makes this killer is the threat management. It's the first feature I enabled. For the Dream Machine, uh, threat management means having, of course, a firewall. But what they have also is uh, intrusion prevention systems and intrusion detection systems. Basically, it looks at all your traffic and makes sure you aren't being attacked by bad guys. Now this is a killer feature, but the problem with most devices that deploy these features is that it will slow down your network. It takes a lot of C uh, processing power, a lot of CPU and RAM and everything to look at all your traffic and to see if it's a bad packet. Uh, but what's cool about the Dream Machine Pro is that it really isn't an issue. An afterthought, really. They promise us 3.5 gigabits per second of inspected traffic. Well, kind of. I mean, check this out. This is where I'm a little confused, but it could just be a software bug. If I go to the settings where I would enable the setting, go to internet security, threat management, it, uh, it's still in beta. Uh, but right now it says um, my maximum throughput is one gigabit per second. Okay, what's what's going on? <laughs> Let me know, Unify. Ubiquity, what are you doing? Now, it's not a huge deal. I've got gigabit internet, so that's my maximum throughput anyway, and um, so it shouldn't be an issue. But I enabled every single feature on this thing, and um, so far it's been great. And I even tested my network with some bad stuff and it found the bad stuff. It protected me from the bad stuff. So that's awesome. So the Pro can do 3.5 gigabits per second, theoretically. I don't know. Uh, and the Dream Machine, just the, the little brother, can only do 850. So <laughs> still a lot. But if you have a, a, a pretty good internet at your house like I do, uh, you, you don't want to throttle your internet for anything. Um, speaking of things looking in on you and spying on you and looking at your stuff, 
No one likes that. Do you like that? I don't like that. But if you're like me, you might upload your data, your files, your pictures, um, all kinds of stuff to some kind of cloud drive, Google Drive, Dropbox, and guess what? <laughs> they can see your stuff. I mean, they shouldn't be, and they have no reason to be, but they can. And I don't know, sometimes I get targeted ads at me, like you know, I'm going through Facebook and I got this ad based on what I uploaded to my drive. I'm like, are they, are they looking at my stuff? So how do you protect yourself? <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. You gotta encrypt it, you gotta hide it. You gotta make it where they can't see it. And thank you to NordLocker, the sponsor of this video. They have a really great, simple, easy way to uh, help us hide our stuff. And we can encrypt it on our computer, Mac or Windows, and then we can move these files anywhere and they're safe. Let me show you real quick. I had this uh, picture from one of my last thumbnails here. Yep, there it is. Um, I'm gonna encrypt this guy. So I'll launch a Nord Locker. I'll jump into my locker. And then all it takes to encrypt something is just grabbing a file, dropping it in there. I can say copy or move. I wanna move it and it's safe. And then when I want to upload the stuff to my Dropbox or Google Drive or whatever, I'll just click on share locker, send via Dropbox, and um, it'll create a copy of my locker. It'll be safe, secure, and only people I grant access to will have access. And that doesn't include <laughs> Dropbox or Google. And there's my link. I would share that link with people I've given access to. And if I go to that link, here's what uh, Dropbox can see, nothing. <laughs> you go to the encrypted stuff and um, there's all your files, but they don't, they don't even know what's going on. Can't be previewed, which is what you want. That's perfect. Now, if you want to use NordLocker like I am right now, it's free. Uh, you get up to two gigabytes free. Um, if you click the link below, uh, nordlocker.net forward slash network chuck or use coupon code network chuck. And thanks again to NordLocker for sponsoring this video and keeping us safe. Now the Dream Machine Pro shares all of the features of the Dream Machine the little guy has. Um, they have a, a controller built in. Uh, you've got the security features. I mean, it's all cool. One thing it has that the Dream Machine does not, and this is number two of what makes it pretty stinking cool, is the Unify Protect. It's what I had to get a hard drive for. I felt like they should have included that, but you know what? whatever, <laughs> but check it out. I mean, I can just go over here, go to my Unify Protect, and I've got secure private surveillance. But of course you have to buy the cameras and be able to power the cameras via PoE, but having all that in one, one router, <laughs> can we even call it a router anymore? Cause like it does everything. It also has a built-in switch. Again, similar to the Dream Machine. Uh, Dream Machine had four, this one has eight, and it also has two 10 gig SFP ports. So it's it's definitely meant for business and it has a WAN failover where the uh, Dream Machine did not have that. So this is definitely, you know, pro, more for business. It's rack mounted, it's not gonna look pretty and, and uh, a little sexy uh, for like, like, like the Dream Machine, but it is more powerful and it gives you more features. The one thing it is lacking that might be your huge decision point is it doesn't have a built-in access point. So you'll have to already have, you know, your wireless devices throughout your house. Not a big issue for me, I already had them. And then the whole number three thing, like if you're nerdy, you'll like this, the display on the device, that's cool. I mean, being able to like touch screen, like I'm, I'm never gonna use it. I know that for a fact, <laughs> but it's a nice touch and I appreciate that. So as far as performance goes, I'm not pushing a ton of traffic in my network, but it's been performing great. I've had no issues. From a security perspective, it caught the threats I threw at it. So who's this device for? Who should buy this device? Um, definitely small to medium sized businesses. Um, it's perfect, it really is. If you're like a small branch office, um, Dream Machine is probably the best option, get that built in AP. But if you're wanting those pro features like WAN failover, or 10 gig SFPs and uh, you wanna have a surveillance system built into your router, um, definitely go for this guy. And it's also for nerdy home users like me. Um, it's got a $379 price tag, which is not that bad. In fact, when you look at all the features this guy has, who can get mad at that price tag? You can buy one of those super weird looking, you know, crazy gamer routers that, um, that say you'll have the fastest Wi-Fi in the world. Uh, but it doesn't do anything close to what the Unify Dream Machine Pro does. So far, it's got my seal of approval. Now, I haven't tried to do anything like crazy advanced, like dynamic routing. I don't know what, what that's like with this device. Um, I haven't accessed command line just yet. I know that it's it, it, the Unify OS, the, the, U, the new OS they're working with is different from the USG Pro and, and the, uh, the edge routers they have. So I'm not sure how limited advanced users are at this point, but I'll be honest with you. The thing that was most important to me was having as much throughput as possible for my inspected traffic for management. I'm geeking out over that. I love that. Well, guys, that's about it. If you want to pick up a Dream Machine or a Dream Machine Pro, I've got links below. And uh, if you like this video, like it. If you like what I create on this channel, subscribe. And if you want to see more of what I do professionally, like creating courses about how to become more of a network engineer or IT person, um, I've got all kinds of courses on CBT Nuggets to get you started, especially the new Azure stuff, because uh, Microsoft's like, hey, 
we're going to the cloud. So check out my training on that below. Yep, that's about it. I will catch you guys later.